Hello, GLL here. E3 2015 live reactions. Microsoft press conference. There are those who take steps, and those who make the great Tomb Raider. leap forward. Years of war. Those who stay as they are. Halo. And those that become more than they ever thought possible. They discover, explore, shape able, compete, and are fearless. What was it? There are those satisfied by common pursuits. And he is a war. Now we're talking. Will never be enough. So ask yourself. Them Xbox logo fucking slogans get worse every fucking year. Jump in, Ladies jump ahead. This is the Xbox E3 2015 briefing. Please welcome from 343 Industries. Oh God. Bonnie Ross. <laughs> Bonnie's about to lay an egg. Everyone here at Xbox. It is an honor to welcome you to E3 2015 and to continue the tradition of what this show has always been about. The characters, the games, and the stories that people love. In 2015, we are delivering the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. Bullshit! A lineup that includes new and innovative IP, groundbreaking indie games, Blockbuster franchises, and of course, the best exclusive games launching this year. So let's start today with the first Halo game. Ooh. Thank you, that's right. That's where I want to hear the applause. Built from the ground up for Xbox One. And the game that Should fulfills hope so. both the promise of the Halo universe and the power of Xbox One. Master Chief, hero or traitor? Spartan Locke, well, that's pretty friend obvious. or foe? Epic worlds, epic battles, epic scale. This is Halo 5 Guardians. Xbox One exclusive. Not just another target, you know. Every target is just another target, Buck. 0631 this morning. Master Chief was declared absent without leave. I'm a Spartan now, sir. I know who you are. Yet now you hunt another Spartan. The greatest of your clan. Every other Spartan, every soldier, when they hear about this, they're gonna hate us. You know that, right? You're not the only one here because of him. So now, the Covenants find the stronghold. That is where you'll find the Master Chief and the Guardian he seeks. Let's move. Bail and we get to the gameplay. Problem. Affirmative. Buck, Danaka. Defensive positions. I will never bow to infidels. There we go. <laughs> called it. You play a Sergeant Lock. I called it. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Lock, we sure the chief came this way? Let's see. Activating the Artemis. Called that about they, what, six months ago? Let me take a look. Chief 
It's assault rifle. No ammo. Then the Master Chief's been through here. Which means he has a head start on the Guardian. Let's get moving. Seems very scripted. Looks like Arbiter's running the Covenant out of town. He's been fighting for this moment a long time, Bale. The Covenant's finally breaking. There's the Guardian. You think the Chief's already on board? It's all gone a bit uncharted Indiana Jones here. I'm okay. Keep going. Go, go, go. Well that why put scripted shit in like that? It just fucking ruins the game. See the new enemies? That's different. I already know about the uh, downs. I think it's stupid, like, I'm going if we're going to see it, if the, uh, if the first player goes down, apparently you can be revived even though you, you went down, so that seems kind of stupid to me. Weapon cache up there. Bail, Tanaka, flank left. Buck, head up with me. Did he just tell me that? Was that scripted? New weapon. Sort of. Music's good. Really very impressed with the level design. Oh, there we go. He's ruined it. Fucking boss battle in a Halo game. Oh no, it's scripted again. Fuck's sake. That was cool. We need to get airborne. We are airborne at Fort Worth Face Off. Oh, I was kind of hoping they'd show the fucking Master Chiefs team. Oh well. Oh, not Josh Holmes. Jesus Christ. Built for seamless drop-in, drop-out cooperative play, you'll control two distinct Spartan squads. One led by the Master Chief, the other by Spartan Lock. Now, for the first time, the epic scale of Halo's campaign carries over to our multiplayer experience. 
Get fucked up. AI controlled adversaries and environments that are Did you hear that boys? Bots. What you're about to see We've got bots. Giant leap for Halo Fucking bots. Playable here at E3. I thought the multiplayer was bad, it's about to get a hell of a lot fucking worse. It's Titanfall. They've copied Titanfall. Yeah, they've copied Titanfall. There you go. It's like Red Hunters and fucking... So wait a minute, is this like going to be like Invasion? Can you actually play as the fucking Covenant or what? Can't call it Warzone. That sounds like fucking Gears of War, you idiots. <laughs> fucking about as original as fucking Tony. Exclusive world premiere. Why did we just go from Halo and just straight into this shit? Well, I have no idea what this is. Seems a bit pi Pixar-esque. a bit Star Wars. <laughs> oh well, you'll have to put that in the robot now. It's a bit like Knack, actually. Welcome back, buddy. Yeah, it's a bit like Knack. He's a fucking orb in his belly, and just turn into different things. Well, Ladies would like to see some gameplay, or I can spot. judge it really, but Bill was Spencer. not really my fucking style of game really there, but... Good morning and no, it's, uh, it's something new, something Investing different. Investing in and shipping new exclusive franchises is critical to our platform's success. We're proud to partner with Inafune San, Mark Puccini, and the teams at Comcept and Armature Studios to create ReCore, an exclusive new first-party franchise for Xbox One. At Xbox, our mission is simple, to put you, the gamers, at the center of everything we do, to build the best platform and most reliable service for both gamers 
and developers, and to enable teams to push the boundaries of creativity, technical innovation, and of course, fun. Today, you will see how we're continuing to invest and innovate for gamers across oh, the world. Innovate. Our service, our devices, and of course, our games. Anchored by first party exclusives, we'll see a lineup of games from creators, developers, and publishers of all sizes that show the breadth, depth, and diversity of the games you will get to play on Xbox. These games make up what I believe is the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks. Since the launch of Xbox One, we've listened to you, the community of Xbox gamers, and we're grateful for your continued feedback. You we saw continue to deliver monthly platform feature updates that enhance your gaming experience, and your response to the updates continues to motivate us. Last year, the team decided to tackle a feature that has been consistently at the top of your request list. Fix the and friends while we list. We weren't sure it was possible. Today, I'm pleased to announce New controller. Xbox One backward compatibility. What? What? What the fuck? Xbox 360 games. How? What? The games you've invested your time and money in, and the games you want to continue to be play, will be playable natively on your Xbox One. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Our goal is to deliver the largest games catalog ever on Xbox. And Xbox One backward compatibility allows us to do just that. Please welcome Mike Ibarra, head of our platform engineering team, to show us Xbox One backward compatibility in action. Mike. Awesome. Let's see it. Thanks, Phil. We'll have over 100 titles this holiday, with hundreds more added in the months to come. Oh. Digital Xbox 360 titles will start showing up automatically in your game library on Xbox One. Oh, well, that's and cool. Retail so, like. Will work as well. Put your disc in, download the game, and you're ready to go. Let's take a look with one of my favorite Xbox 360 games. Wait, does this that mean all your arcade games are, 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 are fucking available? Ah, oh, Mass Effect. Classic. Way better than the fucking second ones and the third one. The game runs exactly the original's like just fucking Xbox gold. But better thanks to the power of Xbox Live. Xbox the power of Xbox Live. Live. You'll get to play multiplayer with your friends on Xbox 360. This is cool. And you get to take advantage of Xbox this is One cool because you you like can screenshot, you can record and everything. That's really game cool. DVR and game streaming with the Xbox app. I don't know. I don't know why they've done this, but okay, whatever. Awesome. We've made this easy for game developers too. They just need to approve titles showing up. No work is required on their part to make all of this possible. An initial set of backwards well done Xbox. are available today for Xbox preview members. It will be available today for preview members. Fuck that shit. Be available for everyone this holiday. That's pretty impressive. With Xbox One backward compatibility, we won't charge you to play the games you already own. Thanks, and I'll see you on Xbox. So does that what does that mean all the arcade games though are back backwards compatible as well? Like Thanks, Mike. Now how you play is as important as what you play. We're incredibly proud of our Xbox One controller, but whether you're a console gamer, a PC gamer, or both, we know many of you want more. More customization, more precision, and more control in your gaming experience. Correct. Let me introduce you to the Xbox Elite wireless controller coming this fall. The Elite! Sounds like the controller from the Xbox Elite. The Elite controller for Elite gamers. We should put a switch on the fucking pad to turn off the rumble. That's what you should do.
Oh, D pad actually looks fucking worse. Why would they do that? Oh, that's better. Interchange it. Button mapping, that's cool. I think they're overcomplicating a bit. I think that's a good idea as long as they still give you the um, original ones as well. As long as that's an optional controller because some people don't need all that fucking shit on there. I mean, I, I like the like look of it, but it might put some people off. Thank you so much. It is great to be back here. And even better to see so many familiar faces. We had an amazing experience on Xbox 360 doing Oblivion. Right, Fallout, Fallout 4. Who gives a fuck about that? From here, yeah, you'll explore the most uh, you're not selling it to me. We have ever created. It's still Fallout. Still never finished the third one, so that's pretty much it. Uh, until I finish that one, you're gonna. Mind you, I can play it on my Xbox One now, so. <laughs> Thank you. Like I said, it's great to be back here working with the amazing folks at Microsoft, many of whom we've worked with for 15 years, going back to Morrowind on the original Xbox. Yeah, and you yeah know we all remember that. We would not be here, really, without the support they gave us then and the support they give us now. But I have bugged them for the last 15 years for one feature I've wanted. Um, Fallout's be included with Fallout 4. Company. As you know, modding is a big part of what we do. It is all about making it your own. I'm excited to announce that mods created on the PC will be able to be transferred, played, and sh shared on the Xbox One. Wow. Couldn't give a fuck less, mate. Shared for free on Xbox One. Thanks again. The game's coming out November 10th. We hope you love it. Thanks. Please welcome the Chief Operating Officer of Electronic Arts, Peter Moore. And what's he going to do with fucking Xbox? Always great to appear on the Xbox stage, kicking off E3 with my friends and partners from Microsoft. And such exciting news from Phil that we'll be able to bring some favorite EA titles from the Xbox 360 platform to players on Xbox One via backward compatibility. Now that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, as you know, in the last we well, turn all the fucking servers off. So what the fuck does that matter? In EA access on Xbox One. It helps oh, get fucked off, EA access. Things. Play first, play more, spend all your money. Less. It's the best of EA. How does you play? How do you play for less? Only on Xbox One. I know a lot of you Absolute out there are excited bollocks. to play our next big title, Madden NFL 16, when it launches on all Woo! Go Madden. Fucking Madden. But with EA Access, no you one can cares. be the first to play starting on August the 20th. The same goes for Need for Speed and all of our other upcoming titles. Wow. EA Access, Need for Speed. To play EA's newest releases wow. before anyone else. Members also have no one cares, man. Unlimited exclusive access Even people that like them games don't buy EA Access. They're not that retarded. And best games for Xbox One. All these titles you see it's not worth the money, dude. Ready to download and play as much as you want, whenever you want. And it's about to get even better because this week we're dropping a titan on it. Oh, yeah. Titanfall is a game you can EA buy for a fiver. This week, we'll start the summer. Yep, we'll start the Surely summer. everybody Titanfall, already owned and played that played that game by now, in the world if they wanted to. Because later this summer, it's like we're fucking year Epic old. Dragon Age Inquisition to the EA Access or I could just go to the shop Xbox and buy the disc if I now really wanted to play forget, it, couldn't 
EA Access members also get 10% off in the Xbox store on full game downloads like FIFA 16. Oh, why isn't this on the EA conference? Like Who cares? Or the latest expansion in Battlefield. For all of you out there, no one cares. Play first, play more, and play for less. Come give EA Access a try. Stop Just saying that, play for less. You're talking you shit. This week, in celebration of E3, we're opening up the EA Access vault to all Xbox Live Gold members. That's right, all 12 titles. Just download the EA Access app on your Xbox One and play as much as you want. Play for free, free for a week of E3. We what a load of bollocks. No one, now, not even the fucking, no one's clapping, no one cares. Really gonna like. Because of your passion for the insanely fun Plants vs. Zombies franchise, Oh my god. Today, Plants vs. Zombies, Plants vs. Zombies 2. 2. Wow! Wow! This will be the funniest, and not a single fuck was given. Most over the top shooter experience you've ever played. We're tapping into the heart of what fans loved about the original and adding new characters, new worlds to explore, Jesus Christ. and new ways to play, and tons more. Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare 2 why was it? Why is this on the and Xbox here conference? Is the exclusive world premiere trailer? Thanks, everyone, and have a great oh, three. You're kidding me. World premiere. What are you going to show at your conference? Since the dawn of time, plants have protected suburbia from the zombies. Wow. But now the world has changed. Welcome to Zombabia. You have to steal a Top Gun theme to fucking sell it. I better see Tom Cruise. Danger zone. This game will never be as good as Top Gun. I'm just throwing that out there. The worst of it is it's not even actual fucking gameplay. Absolute bollocks. What? Why did they pick the Top Gun theme? What? What were they thinking? What has it got to do with Plants vs Zombies? The Ford Motor Company was born Thank God that's this over. Track. It's a racing legacy that propelled the company into 1966, when Henry Ford II. The GT40 and an international super team stunned the racing world by finishing 1, 2, 3 at the 24 hours of Le Mans. In the following years, the GT not only went on to defend its championship so what's this, then? race of the century, it dominated the decade, becoming a legend in motorsports. It's not a Forza game. The crowd cheers, the champagne bottles pop. Now, on its 50th anniversary, Christ almighty. the GT is back. And its racing legacy lives up. Developed in a secret studio beneath Ford's engineering center. Oh, okay, what what does this have to do with with a fucking video game? It's a car. It's got nothing to do with the fucking video game. Yeah, the car's in the game, but why are we showing us a car? Show us some games. What the what the fuck is he showing us a car for? Okay, look, you could have just had Henry that, Ford like, III. somewhere. And from Turn 10 Studios, what, what, what do you mean, Henry Ford the third? Thank you. Xbox is the home of racing. Forza has built a reputation for innovation, 
quality and dedication to its fans. Partnering with Forza allows us to bring the Ford GT to everyone. You know what the worst thing is? Project Gotham Racing was Ford's better, Motorsports in my opinion. <laughs> the most beautiful, the most technically advanced, and the biggest Oh, this guy's always a stunner. Let's take a look. Xbox One exclusive. This game better fucking make fucking cheese on toast, man. Fuck me, that didn't look very good graphics then. That's better. <laughs> that first shot looked terrible. Why are they raising the car? In front of the screen. Okay, we get it. The car's in the game. We, we knew that. So, now you... You could have just shown us the game. Didn't need to lower that car for all of fucking five minutes. Right, show us the game then, come on. This isn't even gameplay, man. This is like ridiculous. Have they showed any gameplay? Apart from Halo. We get it, it's Forza. The multiplayer in fucking racing games is absolute ass, man. All it is is a fucking bumper car fucking fest. You should get penalised for crashing into people and you just don't, it's retarded. You crash into the back, like you knock somebody off the road or something, you should get penalised and lose your grid, pe grid places and shit, and lose your... At the end, you should be deducted. You should be sent back to the bottom of the fucking grid for being an arsehole. World premiere. Right, come on. Is that all you're going to show for? He didn't even tell us anything about it. It was just like, there you go, cars. I'm Kobandai. Well, it's not a Dragon Ball Z game. So what's that? Is it Soul Calibur? <laughs> I don't even know if fucking Soul Calibur is Bandai, I'm talking shit. I can't remember. Give us a clue. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Nope, still don't know what's going on. Giant guy on fire. Dark Souls 3. Fucking hell, the leap was real. <laughs> Fucking Dark Souls 3. Jeez, is that all you've got? This. They just made Bloodborne on the PS fucking four. That one day. Same shit over and over. Everything we ever knew could end. Is this the division? You see, I'm mi I've got mixed feelings about this game. I'm not really sure about it until I see some actual gameplay. 
until society as we knew it collapsed. I am a, I am a big uh, Tom Clancy game sort of fan. Of, like Rainbow Six is the king. Ghost Recon's pretty pretty well up there. Similar. You've got the Splinter Cells. They're all bad. pretty good. We're going. Where does this one fit in? Last resort. We are the division. I just hope there's no zombies. As long as there's no zombies, it'll be a good game. Fucking <laughs> hate zombies. But there is one thing we do know. There cannot be any hope for tomorrow. If we don't fight for today. See, they keep showing stuff about this game, but you never really you never really have any actual information or anything. You don't know anything about it. Like, why don't you just show some gameplay? Like, what's all this? If society falls, we rise. So they're like, what, vigilantes? Or are they like a gr specific group set up? President We're gonna have to go read the book. Oh, they're actually gonna talk about it. All right, come on, tell us, tell us about it then. Come on. Bonjour. I'm interested. Mais oui. is footage from our next chapter in the Tom Clancy family. The Division is a deep, realistic action RPG that feels personal. This oh, that sounds York. interesting. You belong in that world. You recognize it. You could be there. Assuming, of course, that right. uh, you're a secretly trained agent, which video games will make possible for you? <laughs> Our Tom Clancy games and Xbox have a shared DNA since the original Ghost Recon shipped on the very first day of the Xbox Live service. Since then, live players are true. Among, among our most passionate fans. That's why I am pleased to announce that Xbox One players will be the first ones to try The Division via an exclusive beta this December. Oh, that's interesting. Well, there we go then. There we go then, boys. I get to play it myself before the game comes out, so I can try it out. Great. Fantastic. The next installment in the Rainbow franchise. Yes. Look, looking, in, looking forward to that too. I hope that's going to be good as well. Fun gaming roots blessed with next-gen technology. Most players love it. Sounds interesting. For me, it's the destructible environments that really hit the spot. When Siege comes out, yeah, it's something different, but it doesn't break the game. Hopefully, will be able to play the full versions of award-winning Rainbow Six Vegas and Vegas 2, thanks to the backward compatibility on Xbox One. Yeah, fucking Better some of the yet. best games ever made. They are amazing yet, games. Those two games will come free with Rainbow Six Siege. Ah, so, bonus. Until then. Let's take a look at I mean, I've already got them, but you know. Thank you. Oh, great. They're going to show some game. Yes. Okay, they're setting up in the plane. Yes. Drones up. Looks like bombs in the back on the right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what, where, if they put the cover system back in. That's what I wanted to know, really. I don't know if they have or not. I mean, I don't, it doesn't it necessarily need I a cover you. system. Yep. Was that? Didn't have a cover sledge. system in Rainbow Ready? Three, but. Go, go, man! Use a sledge. Go. Got him! Right there! Right there! He's right I'm on just you. wondering Throw whether him. they kept the cover system from Vegas. Let's go. Got him! Got him! Hold the wall. Planting charge. Take him out. He's right at the door. Bombs in there. I'm on it. Can you tag? For a second. Only two seconds. I got it. I got it. See again, no fucking real I'm gameplay. I mean, we already saw some Wait, gameplay before this game, but you know that was kind of scripted as well. That was a tiny fragment of gameplay there. Nice shot. Available tenth and thirteenth. What? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Fucking Americans. <laughs> October. Windows Ten soon. and Xbox One exclusive. It's 
it's all about Ubisoft at the minute they own the show there looks like fucking win week <laughs> the fuck is this? This is just so stupid it could actually be good. The fuck is this? <laughs> the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? He's got a mouse on his back. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Come with me. <laughs> Join the beta again. A chance to try out some uh, hey, gameplay. Old Bluto there. Mean Greens, that's just like Army Men, Sarge's Heroes. Yeah, I don't think half oh, of these fucking titles are big enough to get on this. He used to just literally be on the show floor. I don't see the point in banging them on this. Unless you're going to actually, like, say they're really good and talk about them. I don't see the point in uh, banging, like, five-minute clips. Because nothing's going to sink in. It's like, fucking... The best thing to do with them would be, like, put, like, playable demo demos on the fucking console so you could try them out. And then you can obviously buy them if you. That's the best way of doing it. Cause you can't, you can't do learn anything from fucking this shit. Please welcome the director of ID at Xbox, Chris Charla. Hey everybody. What you just saw was a sampling of the titles coming from the more than 1,000 independent developers making Xbox One and Windows games as part of the ID at Xbox program. You know, <laughs> enabling creators to realize their visions and deliver incredible new experiences to Xbox players around the world is what the ID at Xbox program is all about. And it's been awesome to see the level of critical and commercial success developers have already had on Xbox. And we're really just at the start. Now, I'd like to introduce you to some amazing creators whose games are going to be debuting exclusively on Xbox One. Hi, Wee. I'm Scanner from Fulbright. When we created Gone Home, we wanted to tell a very small, personal story. We do mainly, man. So we created a game that took place entirely in one family's house. But with our there next game, Tacoma, we wanted to push ourselves to explore new ideas and new frontiers. What is life like in a place that's completely unfamiliar to you and me? a place that's beyond the bounds of Earth, and what has happened to the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. Well, at least Control. they're doing a bit on the games. Come in. You're going to show them, at least fucking talk about them, like I said. Hello? See, none Wait, of this shit really it just appeals to me at all. It's just fucking psychedelic shit. It's like not a single fuck given. It's not even exclusive. It says first on, so it's a fucking timed exclusive. Odin, what am I going to find behind this door? Why did Microsoft think it's fucking cool to be first? Prove shit. I don't prove shit. You're st still gonna get the game eventually. So what, what difference does it make if you first? Can irrelevant, man. Hi, 
Unless it's like fucking a year in advance. <laughs> That's what stupid. team in New Zealand has set out to create a harsh, open world to explore. One where it's up to you to determine who is friend and who is foe. In a place where player-to-player -player relationships are key to survival. But who to trust, who to fight, and who to run away from are all decisions you must make for yourself. Oh dear. Alright, I'm gonna get some friggin' water while this is on. Still fucking going. Hi everyone, I'm Sherida from Tiger and Squid. Beyond Eyes is the story of Ray, a young girl who, for the first time in her life, has to leave the safety of her childhood home and go explore the outside world. Bloody but hell! Being blind, Ray has to visualize the world through other senses, such as hearing, touch, and smell. I made Beyond Eyes because I wanted to share with the world How many blind games are we going to make this year? We embrace the challenges that life throws at us and if we open ourselves up to new experiences it can be a beautiful world <laughs> Again it said first on like it's like a big deal that they're getting it first It's because you own the fucking world doesn't mean you keep throwing money at things Eventually it's going to bite you in the ass, man because people are going to get sick of how fucking what an arsehole you are of a company when you keep saying we're first, we're first no one gives a fuck we'll wait it's stupid people don't choose your console because you get fucking shit early it makes no sense Hi, I'm Chad from Studio MDHR this is my brother Jared. A few years ago, when we first sat down to sketch Cuphead, we had no idea that character would eventually be the star of his own Fucking Xbox. Cuphead. Come on, man. That's retarded. Thing we were Think of something better than that. that Come we on. We wanted our game to have the look of a 1930s cartoon and the precision oh, you fucking of a that. bit platformer. But that's just with Mickey Mouse, isn't it? With a fucking cup for a head. brought our sketch to life. That's literally it. We are excited to give everyone a quick peek into the world of Cuphead. Well, I know what it's going to be like. You just saw it. What <laughs> a fucking shit. Next, uh, oh, that's an actual exclusive. There's Blue O. Well, um, 
You want, you want original stuff? Really there you the go. Of experiences the independent I'll say no more. Bringing to Xbox One today. And we'd like to really thank those creators for joining us on stage and sharing a peek at the experiences they'll be bringing to Xbox One and Windows 10. Now, I'd like to talk about a new pilot program we're launching for independent developers called Xbox Game Preview. Game Preview is a new type of offering that lets gamers buy and play a selection of games while they're still in active development. It enables the community to get involved oh and my help God. the final outcome with their feedback. So, this type of early access game are you is gonna pay me, are you? PC, and we're excited to offer it to our players. But we want to make sure it comes to console oh my in a way that God. makes sense. So every yeah, I'll pay you to trial, play the fucking so game before it's fucking ready. That makes fucking sense. You want to jump in early, Thank you, PC gamers, for fucking us all over. We'll be launching a select number of games into the Xbox Game Preview over the next year, including the following titles. The Long Dark by Hinterlands. <sighs> Sheltered from Unicube, Elite Dangerous from Frontier, and Daisy from Bohemia Interactive. <laughs> so <laughs> Elite Dangerous got a clap. If you'd like to join the Xbox Daisy. Game Preview community and get involved, you can do it starting today. Later this afternoon, the Long Dark and Elite Dangerous will be available for download on your Xbox One. Please give them a try. Can't wait to hear what you Whee! think. Now, well, I go, like I say, I, like to to I don't mind demoing shit, but fucking, I'm not gonna buy the game before it's ready. IP, which it's is retarded. Be exclusively on PC and Xbox One. Please welcome the creator of Daisy, Dean Hall. Dean Hall. It's a fucking name, that I is. I want a game that is not a game. I want a game that is a universe. <laughs> a universe I want a game not that's not a game. <laughs> What the, the fuck is that? Biology I want a game that's not a game. A right. MMO but that makes no that sense. Explores mankind's expansion into space. The chance to be a pioneer in a harsh universe. Swamped with the risk of death, yet peppered with the havens of fortune. For the past year, I have been working with the technology company Improbable to turn my long-term prototype Ooh. into a reality. It worked. We are the architects of this new universe, but you, the players, through Xbox One Game Preview and PC, will govern its destiny. So it makes architects and destiny. Never mix them too. Again, first, they're obsessed. What the hell's that shit, man? What the what the fuck? Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, from Crystal Dynamics, game director Brian Horton. They're obviously saving Gears War for the end. On behalf of the entire team at Crystal Dynamics, to demo the world premiere gameplay of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Xbox it comes Rise of the Tomb Raider. Holiday. 2015. Is it? Is, is this game been confirmed to be an actual exclusive or a timed exclusive now? Well, I, I suppose it was on that thing at the beginning, so I'm guessing they've actually acquired it, like, full time. So, see, I've never, ever, ever in my life liked Tomb Raider. And I'm not a planning to start now. I know the new ones are completely fucking different, but 
just not for me. <laughs> just not for me at all. Oh, I guess if I was gonna hide a lost city, this might be this is scripted again. This has been a running theme at this. Everything seems to be really scripted. What is that about? Like should be enough time. We're almost to the top. Well, they're just finding the most scripted bit of the game to fucking put on or what? I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. Graphics are pretty impressive. <laughs> He's not gonna stab her in the back or something, is he? What's that all about? Looks like we climb from here. Oh, he's hitched himself onto it. He didn't really show that. I thought he was going to stab her in the back. Let's do it. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. Slow and steady. You're fucking really moving. Fucking, if a fucking girl can make it, Jesus Christ. There, I mean, it is Laura Croft, so I suppose. <laughs> She's not a normal fucking human being. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> nobody could make that jump. <laughs> Master Chief couldn't make that jump. <laughs> Is she gonna climb up or is she gonna hang on there like an idiot? Oh, yeah, that's just gonna happen. I got you! Laura! Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm gonna pull you back up! What is this shit? What is this shit? Fucking, that was so obviously gonna happen. That was like... That was cliche as fuck. It had to be an avalanche, didn't it? Had to be. Well, it's Tomb Raider. So far, I haven't seen one tomb. And there's a lot of fucking snow. Oh, this is fucking... It's like watching a bad film. Sense of purpose again. 
like I'm doing what I was meant to do. What was that? Pre-ordering get the old Tomb Raider game free or some shit. I really wasn't paying attention. I zoned out there. They already gave Tomb Raider away free on 360 as well, didn't they? I think I read that wrong. I must have read that wrong. Xbox One exclusive. Okay. What? What? Oh fuck! <laughs> what are you gonna give us then? Any of them would have been great. <laughs> you never forget. Your Come on, what are you giving us? Game. And the more of them you play, the more of them you love. Every memory is a story to cherish and share. We fought back monsters, soared across the stars, achieved the impossible. We were heroes. There were games that blew us apart, and games that brought us together. Whether you're reliving childhood memories, or discovering classics for the first time, you'll see why the best stories will never be forgotten. Oh, for fuck's sake, not another fucking collection. Jesus Christ. Fuck me for a second there, I thought they were going to give me another Perfect Dark game. What a disappointment. What an absolute, what an absolute disappointment that was, like, you could have given us a big Rareware exclusive title that would have, like, blown our minds and you just give us that. Marks the 30th anniversary of Rare, and we wanted to celebrate All them franchises they've got, they... an iconic collection of Rare games. Sitting on all them franchises there, like, fucking amazing games. They could be making One of the things that Rare has done consistently over three make decades a fucking collection. to evolve as a studio. Rare has redefined genres with its own special formula, and we're ready to do that again. Today I'm proud to give you a first look at a new exclusive game from Rare. A game that what? will allow our players to have unique and memorable adventures together. A shared world adventure game. Set in a fantastical world, this game will bring players together and give them the freedom to play with limitless possibilities. This is by far the most ambitious game Rare has ever created. Well, I, I find that hard to believe when you haven't even showed it to me yet. Exclusive world premiere. The fuck is this? I take it all back until I see this. I might, I might not take it all back yet. Hold on. Okay. So is it a first person game or is this just the camera angle for the trailer? It is a first person game. Oh, it's a pirate game. I mean, the guy with the sword was a giveaway, I suppose. 
Well, are they like actual players there? That water effect, the water effects are amazing. Look at that. They couldn't have pulled that off in the last gen. It's gone a bit cinematic now though, I can't, that, that, this isn't gameplay now. That when he was walking around with like gameplay. Sea of Thieves. Well, I do take it back, that actually looks pretty good. Xbox I take it all back. Windows 10 exclusive. They should have shown that first and then shown the collection. Let You're idiots. You story it's bad pacing. Of a world of great beauty. What's this fable? Full of promise. Full of magic. And lately, full of adventurers. Well, maybe not. Eager to explore. Eager to tell a story of their own. But this is not a story of heroes. They are intruders. In a land that does not want them. Free to play on Xbox One with Windows Gold. It's not their story. And I will end their little fairy tale. There it is, Fable Legends. Oh, that's out of the way. You can stop fucking wondering where every game's fucking Joining Fable that comes up. <laughs> every single game that come up, they're like, is this Fable? <laughs> Games like Fable Legends show our commitment to putting fans and gamers at the center of everything we do. Legends is free to play on both Xbox One and Windows 10 PCs. This means Fable <sighs> on Windows 10 will be able to play with their gamers on Xbox Fable One. fans, who the fuck are they? Anything you earn or buy on one version of the game becomes part of the experience on the other. And if you love gaming, more she thinks so, you robbing bastards. Windows allows developers to push the boundaries of creativity, to deliver gamers experiences they will love, from console gaming to PC gaming, even virtual reality gaming. Today, we are proud to announce a new relationship with Valve VR. Hey, what? What did you just say? We'll be working closely with Valve to make Windows 10 the best platform for VR gaming. And last week, we were on the Oculus stage announcing a partnership with Oculus. The Xbox One what? controller will be included with every Oculus Rift at launch. This puts our high-precision gaming controller at the center of VR gaming. And Xbox One games will be playable on Oculus Rift. By streaming Xbox One games to Rift, through Windows 10, gamers can play the games they love on the newest They're devices. obsessed with this Windows 10. Microsoft's also pioneering a new era of holographic computing, an era of mixed reality, the ability to bring holograms into your real world. In January, we unveiled Microsoft Why are that HoloLens, and then support the Oculus? The first untethered holographic computer powered by Windows 10. Holograms mixed with your real world unlocks all new experiences, freed from the boundaries of your streams. So far, we have shown new ways for people to create... Wait till the pornography industry starts on these. And to learn. I sell like hotcakes, man. Today, we are very excited to show you how Microsoft HoloLens can change the world of gaming.
To show you how it works, let me uh, not really. director at Mojang, Lydia Winters. Lydia? I don't see how Thanks it's going to fucking impact on gaming, to be honest. Four years ago at E3, I met the Mojang team for the very first time. Soon after, I joined oh, them on this Christ. unbelievable adventure. This game has changed millions of lives. If there's one, if there's one game in the past five years, we've been that doesn't fit in with fucking like virtual reality, surely it's fucking Minecraft. Minecraft. We never could have imagined. Every day we see new and exciting things being made. On July 4th and 5th in London, we are going to have the biggest Minecraft celebration in the world at Minecon. 2015. We can't wait to share more with the community there and be inspired by their ideas. We're always trying to harness new technology and create new ways of playing the game. With that in mind, please let me welcome Zach Spearson from Here Microsoft Studios. And we're excited to be able to show a new version of Minecraft built specifically for Microsoft HoloLens. Yeah, that's fucking Thank brilliant. If you could think sure of one game today, that doesn't make sense this to have in like, like a, trying to be virtual reality, right surely that's itself, Minecraft. Allowing the entire audience to see the holograms. Now, this is a live demo with real working code. Uh -huh. Let's show what it can do. Okay, how can we see through you the HoloLens through the camera? Today on HoloLens. Zach grabbed his Xbox controller to play through a giant holographic portal into a 3D Minecraft world right on the wall. Even though I don't have a hologram, okay, so I'm able to play together with Zach from my Surface. Are you going to come join my game, Lydia? I'm in now. I see you, jumping around. One of the cool is this scripted or is this actually fucking real? Virtually anywhere. You can get different perspectives on your Minecraft world. Right. So I see. Controller, but could we show them something so new, Sure. Let's take our experience off the wall and then put it on the table over here. Create world. Okay, does a table come with the game or something? Like, what the fuck is going on? As I run around and play, Zax can easily navigate and manip manipulate the world using his voice and his hands. He can walk well, does everybody the have that much space in their front room to fucking have a table set spare just so I can build Minecraft on it? Come on, man. The suckers who fall for this shit, man. This fucking gimmicky I shit. Closer. All the way in. Close up. What are you up to, Lydia? I'm hopping in a minecart. Minecraft chick. Could that be Let's any more generic? Down to the village. We're going to pick a different perspective. Overview. It's incredibly this has to, to be scripted. On your table. Imagine seeing your own worlds like this. Yeah, that's fucking not. It's fucking. You have to have a table the size of the fucking moon Isn't to fucking it that put it on there. Just standing at the table, but through the Hololens, he can see a whole Minecraft universe at his fingertips. You can even raise the entire world and see things that are normally hidden way underneath the ground. Could you give us a sneak peek of what's under that village, Sax? Sure. Grab the world, lift it up. Let's see what's hiding underneath Lydia. Ooh, huge stronghold right underneath. I'm gonna mark that for you. Mark that. Well, you're gonna have to find a way to break in. I see it. I'm on my way there now. I'm placing some TNT so I can blow my way into this stronghold. I, I could use a light though, Sax. Good strategy. Using. HoloLens, I have access to all console commands in Minecraft, just using my voice, but um, I can just focus my gaze on the TNT and say, lightning strike. 
Step back. <laughs> Whoa! There's a lot of materials down there I wouldn't have seen without you. Well, there's one more thing I want to do with lightning. I see a pig pen over here. I think the pigs need an upgrade. Do it. Lightning strike. There you have it. Zombie pigmen. <laughs> Zombie pigmen. Zombie fucking pigmen. That's what you, had, you went through all of that, and you closed you on zombie pigmen. An entire world right on your table. Microsoft HoloLens gives the community a different way to play in the world they already love. We will have even more Minecraft news to share at Minecon in a few weeks. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a oh, here we go. Rod Ferguson. Shit just got real. Ten years ago, Gears of War debuted here at the Xbox E3 briefing. And this year, we're taking you back to where it all began. Today, I'm happy to announce Gears of War Ultimate Edition. The original Gears of War completely remastered and modernized for Xbox One and coming August 25th. It's the first at its best, fully rebuilt in 1080p, loaded with new content and 60 frames per second in multiplayer. And you can play that multiplayer early in our one-week public beta that starts today. What? So tune in to the Xbox Daily Live from E3 this afternoon what? to learn more. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. I, I wanted to give you a taste of something else we're working at at the Coalition. Thank you. Xbox One exclusive world premiere. So is th this is a new game, right? Oh, I see. So they've made they're making a new game as well. All right. This way. Come on. New character. No need to worry just yet. And keep watching. That thing could be anywhere. That's some fucking nice fucking graphics. I don't know if using the uh, menu music from Gears of War 3 is the answer, but... <laughs> sure that's safe? Hey, if it works. It's just rainwater? Yeah, with stuff floating in it. Let's assume all this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, script, it's scripted again. Like, nobody fucking does this. They just fucking run in there. Nobody fucking hangs about like this. Tell me you heard that. The hell he started firing before I could even see what it was. Wind coming. Get the oh dear. See, that's what you get for pissing about chatting. She just fucks off like I said. Why, why is this so scripted? Gears of War's never been this, this scripted. 
games are turning more and more into fucking um, films all the time. It's retarded. We've got to have some gameplay. You can't just give us fucking great special effects over and over. You, you need some fucking gameplay in between. Not just fucking run, 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 run. Lightning bolts freezes the game. Can't move. Games don't work like that. You need to have control about ninety percent of the time. If you're gonna do a big lightning strike to survive, it should be in a cutscene. Let's go check it out. Um, Let's hopefully the this the, the game picks up now. What is that? Don't touch it. <laughs> she said don't touch it. What are you doing? Foxy just don't know himself. Fucking idiot. Wait, come on. Go. Oh. oh no. Alright. Just don't touch the pods. Yeah, this game looks promising. I mean it's it's hard to fucking get into it when it's not the original characters. Until you play it and get involved with the new characters, it's hard to, you know, give it a, give it a chance. The graphics look good. Gameplay looks as good as it ever did. Looks like they haven't messed with it too much. So should be a, should be an alright game. This. I'm not gonna go over the top and say it's gonna be the best game ever. But <laughs> It looks all right. I don't like I don't like all this pacing and scripting this shit they seem to. I don't know if that's just because it's a fucking trailer. Like. You see, if normally it like you okay, press the door and it would like. Boom, and then you would like turn around, and then you'd see him on the roof, and then he'd jump down. And it wouldn't be like a cutscene like this, it'd just be in game. So, that's kind of taking me out of it a bit. Like, oh, what was that? The what, the what, the original uh, switch weapon is back? Oh, I'm sold. That's it, I'm sold. Fucking sold. Take my money now. Oh, that's horrible. Look at the size of that thing. Gears 4. Well, they couldn't have called it much else. Surely it should be Gears of War 4, though. Also, they weren't locusts. They were like something else. So that was... That was interesting as well. Welcome back, Bill Spencer. It's great to see Gears of War back on our Xbox stage. To see Gears of War or gameplay running real time on Xbox One. No, it just said Gears 4, not Gears of War 4. <laughs> Today, we showed you the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. New and innovative games that speak to the boundless creativity from studios around the world. Blockbuster franchises you know and love, trailblazing independent games from a new wave of creators who are redefining game development and gameplay, all anchored by the best exclusives on any platform. Xbox is the only place where you can play Gears of War, Fable Legends, Forza Motorsport 6, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and of course, Halo 5 Guardians all this year. Th Hey, what? This lineup is yes, supported by Xbox Gears of War remakes out this year, not Gears of War 4. Better. With an expanded Fucking library of games with backward compatibility, new gaming hardware and accessories. That backward compatibility is just great game blow, first blow my EA mind. Access, next generation virtual and mixed reality gaming experience, and access to games in early development with the game preview program. There truly has never been a better time to be an Xbox gamer. 
If you've been waiting to move well, from your yeah, Xbox 360, awesome. now is the time. Well, shouldn't... Today, I can't, I can't argue with that. It's, it's, it's a better time to move than it was fucking last year. We have more surprises in store this week on the Xbox Daily Show, including the unveil of a whole new Xbox One user experience and more new games coming to Xbox One. This summer, we look forward to bringing exciting features from Xbox Live and some of our most popular Xbox games and experiences to Windows 10 when it launches this July 29th. And at Gamescom in August, you'll see the latest from Quantum Break, Scalebound, Crackdown, and new first-party game reveals. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's your expectation, your dedication, and your passion for games that motivates and inspires not only me, but every single member of Team Xbox. Thank you. Well, guys, that looks like that's it. So, I was pretty impressed with Gears of War. <laughs> impressed with the, obviously, the uh, Rainbow Six and the, uh, the vision I still not sold on. Halo's fucking sh shit because of the multiplayer, the campaign looked okay, but they looked very scripted, what they showed us. You couldn't really judge anything on that. Well, that's it then. I'll watch the EA conference. <laughs>